Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster, and this is episode 5 of Somewhere in Space. This could all be happening right now. I'm Lucas Monster, joined with always. Hello, I'm SideQuester. And uh, today we have a very interesting video. This was one we're actually going and pushing out sooner because uh, we really want to talk about it and get it out to you guys as quick as possible. But as you guys know, there was a Hasbro live stream, what, like four or five days ago now? I guess it would have been four days ago. Yes, the 22nd? Um, Tuesday. Um, 23rd? Something like that. I don't know. It, it, it was about a week before this episode's coming out. Um but uh, we got some new Black Series reveals that we're going to talk about, and uh, we're also going to be talking about a lot of uh, fan controversy around these Black Series reveals. So, excited to discuss this, and um, yeah, so, uh, side quester, if you want to go ahead and give a little bit about yourself for anybody watching. Uh, I am side quester. Uh, I am co-host of a podcast called Somewhere in Space. This may all be happening right now with my good friend Lucas Monster. Did I say? Uh, did I say could? I totally said could instead of may. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. I said may. I practice this when I'm driving. I practice <laughs> this somewhere in space. This may all be happening right now. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel where I occasionally bring out content, and uh, and I'm an author. I wrote a book. It's called Adventures on Unemployment. This is a copy of it that you can't have because it says it's not for resale. But if you go on Amazon or the Kindle store, you can buy a copy that doesn't have this because it is for resale. So uh, if you feel so inclined, check it out. Uh, I'm super proud of it. Part two is coming out sometime this year. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, make sure to go check it out. It is linked in the description. Great read, and uh, I do highly suggest it. Anyway, uh, jumping into uh, the first reveal. First up was the long-awaited, what it was revealed, what or pipeline revealed almost a year ago now, probably. Mm -hmm. um, the Droidica, deluxe Droidica. Wow, it looks so good. It does. I and there was the whole back and forth uh, all over the internet. Uh, in the last couple months of would it roll up into a ball? And mm. it kind of does. It doesn't yeah. like, it's not a perfect ball. Uh, I think that it actually works the, the way that they did it. Cause the back leg still kind of sticks out, mm. but it offers a kind of a base for it to rest and, and still be coiled up. Yeah. I think that's awesome. I, I think, think it, it would have been bad if they made it, go into a full ball because then you couldn't really do anything with it. So uh, it works. I, I, I like it. Yeah. You, right. you took the words out of my mouth right there. Like it, it rolls up, but like it almost has like a little, it almost has like a little, um, <laughs> I think you actually summed it up there pretty perfectly. I, I know it, like it's not a perfect ball, but I think uh, the way that like works is it allows you to actually stand it up. And so it's not going to go rolling about it'll stay up and it'll stay kind of like in the display you want it to, which I think is, is good. So what do you think about the price? Thirty three ninety nine Is that the price? That perfect. It's good. a big beefy boy. As uh, many would say. <laughs> shirts, so, shirts pending big beefy boy, yeah, big beefy boy uh, for the size of it. And for the amount of parts, like the, the pictures that they showed, it looks like there's, some really intricate points of articulation kind of mm. like if you if you really play around with the b1 battle droid it's there's there's a lot going on there and mm. all of those individual pieces have to be cast and then assembled so it kind of makes sense that with with something like the droid cut it's higher price point a little bit bigger but then it's also really intricate I think it looks great. It looks incredible. Sculpt is great. The paint apps are amazing. Um, I'm just excited to get my hands on it. Now, this one is a fan channel exclusive, um, but if you are looking to get it in store, I believe in the U.S. it should be available in GameStops because mm -hmm. that is technically fan channel now. Yeah, so, they, they had them up on the site. Um, I haven't checked anywhere else, but yeah, definitely GameStop. Did you pre-order it? Yeah, so I actually uh, I pre-ordered it from uh, Hasbro Pulse because I'm a Pulse Premium member, so I got to take advantage of that free shipping. So <laughs> I didn't pre-order it because as soon as they were done with the uh, with the reveals, I got on social media and I raged. That's not true. <laughs> you know why? Because it doesn't come with the blue bubble. 
could you imagine? Like, what would the what would the package look like? It'd be a box. Like, it'd be would it, just order like a hamster ball or something. Because like, what do you want with the blue? What what is the blue bubble supposed to be? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this one's great. Price is good. Um, I'm interested to see what like the larger box is gonna be. Um, because it was a it's a deep box. We've seen like big deluxe boxes, but this one is a deep box. So oh, is it? I thought yeah. they I I thought they just like took maybe oh. the back leg off. Oh, no, no, it's it's a deep box. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll have to send you a photo. It's a it was weird looking. It was really weird looking. Hmm. That's gonna that's that's gonna make the displays of all the people that have the the uh, the uh, mural art. It's gonna look weird. I mean, I think it's the same mural. It's just extra long. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to go on social media and rage. I mean, I think we can look at the bright side, and at least it's not plastic free. It's true. So. Could you imagine all the quality control issues? <laughs> yeah, your Droidica is just like it. You open up your Droidica. Like, think, think about this. You're so happy you got a box in from Hasbro Pulse. Mm-hmm. You rip open the tape. You pull out your brand new Droidica in the plastic free packaging mm-hmm. and it's missing the blue ball inside. <gasps> it's supposed to have the blue ball. No, it's, it's genuinely funny how many people were upset that it's missing the blue ball, like the shield. Like what do you expect them to do for that? Well, it, it, and then and they're going to charge 55 bucks for it too. If it came with it. Uh, what do you, what do you have uh, next in our long list of reveals? Next up is another prequel figure. <clears throat> another, Black Series Banger. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the plain white Phase 1 clone on that new 2023 body. Nice. Yeah. I mean, they're, really, the only thing that's different is the helmet compared to the Phase 2. Mm-hmm. Um, but, again, it looks awesome. I, I'll army build Phase 1 just as much as I army build Phase 2, and I don't have any complaints about this guy. I don't think I will army build this Phase 1. Like I army build the phase two. Uh, I went a little overboard at Christmas when they had all the buy two, get one free deals. Really? On I didn't every notice. Site. Uh, you, you can't notice because I'm blocking them. If I, if I move you, yeah, no, no. See, I'll just, I'll just put up the photo of your thumbnail from your video. <laughs> I'll expose uh, it. I, I love the Phase 2 design so much more. I mean, I don't get me wrong. There is a nostalgia for the Phase 1. When they they announced uh, Attack of the Clones, they showed the first trailer, uh, and they had uh, ha- Hasbro had preview figures. They had a set of four figures, and one of them was the Clone Trooper, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I just I like the upgraded design, and kind of like with my Lukes, I picked my definitive one and that's what I'm going with. So my clone troopers, I have my phase two on the new body. That's it. And I'm getting rid of all the other ones. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to get this one unless they have some special deal or, or discount, but I look forward to uh, your review and I'll geek over it that way. I thought it was pretty solid. So I don't really have anything else to say. Just another clone that everybody wants. So, yeah. Or did you pre-order ever. that one? I did not, no. Well. We'll see. I don't know. I already have two of the phase one um, of, like, the 2020 body, so we'll see. I don't know. I mean, I'll definitely buy one just to do a comparison video, but mm-hmm. other than that, like, I don't know if I'll go go overboard. But uh, the third and final uh, actual reveal, we still have some pipeline reveals, mm-hmm. um, is a brand new Grand Admiral Thrawn with a full brand new officer body nice all right give me your thoughts of that and then i have to we have to talk about our bet you know what let's start with the bet let's start with the bet <laughs> For, if you guys did miss the last episode um we made a bet uh we we pretty much said our top 10 figures like we think hasbro is gonna make this year and uh grand admiral thrawn was on my list and so <laughs> now here but here's the thing that will decide uh this mm. actually uh I've seen the release dates uh, be different at several different mm-hmm. places. Our cutoff is January 1st, and on Amazon, it says that the Thrawn will be released 
on January 2nd. So I'm holding out. Hope. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I, know, I know Hasbro's was like officially, I think it was, um, was it spring of 2025? Yeah. And then um, GameStop's was uh, December of 2024, wasn't it? N- November, yeah. December, I somewhere in there. I think it's actually November, like November 30th or something. Yeah. So if that's the case, then mm-hmm. you have one. And I'm already out because you know, when we we'll, talk about we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit, yeah. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, if if one for you, if you're right. So we'll see. You never know. It might not release until, you know. January second, but but uh, yeah, talking about the figure, um, I think it looks great. Uh, unfortunately, not real photos. We only have the 3D renders right now, um, which makes me the, which makes me think it's going to be a like a year away. Um, but the thing is that their their renders are really on point now. Yeah, uh, they they used to have a hard time. Like I mean, the uh, the Jabim Obi Wan is a big uh, uh the, there was a huge difference from uh concept to uh, fi- uh packaged figure mm-hmm. and that was one that i wasn't gonna get until i saw some reviews of it and people had like really nice close-up shots of uh of the portrait and i was like whoa that this is so much different than the, yeah. the rendering with the thrawn it it seems like it's there like it, it like it it looks really good yeah um, uh, again it's one of those that i i would probably hold off on getting for two reasons first uh the thrawn that they came out with uh, originally uh, it's been out a few times and it, it never sold it didn't do well uh i mean after a while it sort of phased out but maybe he'll be a little bit of a peg warmer until we actually see him in Do action. Yeah. yeah. And and I think that will hinge on what we see of Ahsoka season two, or uh, if they're pushing the air to the empire movie down uh, the pipeline faster. Uh, but yeah, we get him doing something and then I'll be excited. Yeah. I mean, this is honestly, this is one that I don't care too much about just because I already own the old Thrawn figure. And so I'm only going to buy this one to do a comparison. Um, so I, I don't care too much about it, but, but yeah, the real reason that I'm really excited for it is it's a brand new officer body. Mm-hmm. And so we could get some amazing officers going forward, which I'm, that that's what I'm most excited about is just yeah. to see them finally redo that body. That's one of the, the worst ones we've had in the line that they keep on reusing. And so it's good to see them finally go ahead and make a new body and I'm excited to see what they can do with that. So, so the first pipeline we got was an IG 12 with Grogu and Babu Frick. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this one, which is controversial. I know. I know some people did not care too much about this reveal just because they weren't a big fan of Mando season three, but um, I'm excited for this one. I think it'll be neat. Uh, my initial concern is sounds like it's going to be expensive uh, with all of those parts. Sounds like it's going to be expensive. Uh, they might uh, just reuse uh, the Babu Frick. They might reuse one of the Grogu's. They'd have to change the the ig11 mm. uh, uh body thing um because that's coming with it right is that all part of it like it's yeah right um I'm, uh, it's a brand new ig12 so oh okay i i wasn't sure i just saw the little pipeline thing and i haven't really yeah so uh, no it's it's a three pack it's what well, three pack i i think it's going to be kind of like a um like the luke grogu set kind of where it's um really ig12 is the one real figure but then you have grogu and Bra- babu frick with it i don't really care about babu frick i don't i was going to do a babu frick impression but i forgot what noise he made it's like a, he's like a hair kind of noise i don't even know i'm totally cutting it out that's a watch it oh i don't remember yeah he I, I'm sure if I heard it, I would jump back into it. Oh, but Babu I think Frick or something. <laughs> hey, I'm Babu Frick, guys. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm Babu hey, I'm, Frick. I'm Babu Frick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Buster, uh, I'm Babu Frick. 
<laughs> yeah, so I, I, I imagine it's going to be kind of like a Luke Grogu set where you'll have the IG-12 figure. And I think my biggest thing is I think this is going to be a brand new IG mold just so you can actually fit Grogu in it. Because the other one is way underscaled and it mm -hmm. really sucks. So if this if this brings a new IG mold along with it, it's a win-win. And um, plus, I kind of just want the figure because I think it's cool. So. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Yes. Um, anyway, the next pipeline reveal is a Walmart exclusive. It is just a female Mandalorian Night Owl. I don't care too much. Do uh, Did they say anything about, well, I guess if it was pipeline, they probably kept it really secret. But is it just going to be a repaint of like the Costco Reeves body? I, I like? imagine so, because that's what it that's what all of the armors are pretty much looking like in the show. Okay. So. I imagine it's going to be a Bo-Katan Casca Reeves repaint. So. Could be cool. Um, again, if it's a Walmart exclusive, chances are it's going to be at a premium price unless they course correct for 2024. So if you're looking at $28 for a generic uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mandalorian, I don't know if that if that really works. Yeah, anyway, next uh, next pipeline reveal. This one... David might be getting another point here because it is a Jedi Survivor 3-pack with uh, the Battle Droid, the Magna Guard, and the Super Battle Droid all repainted with the Jedi Survivor paint schemes. Um, this is also an Amazon-exclusive gaming greats, which is a little strange. Um, we'll see what that means. Um, but, yeah, you might get a point here. Because um, uh, you said the uh, Super Battle Droid uh, with that Jedi Survivor paint scheme would get re-released. I think that I do get a point, but again, it's going to end up on when these actually come out. It was Pipeline, mm -hmm. and I think I saw somewhere that it was Pipeline 4 sometime in 2025, so I might be missing out. But Amazon also has the uh, uh, the Fallen Order uh Gaming Greats three pack coming out in it's supposed to be early. this year. Yeah, I thought it was like March or April. Yeah, uh, I could be wrong. Maybe May, uh, sometime this year. But if they did a sort of spring uh, exclusive with Fallen Order, and then this gets brought up to ha be a holiday release, then. I could definitely see this one being uh, released early, pushed a little bit early. I could see this one releasing before the end of 2024, 20, so we'll see. Will you get it on release date, or will you get it on uh, when they have it on a sale or uh, like a Black Friday deal? If they have a Black Friday deal or like a sale, I'll try to pick it up. But, um, you know, if it's one of those where it's like about to go out of stock forever because I haven't picked one up yet, then I'll probably I'll probably jump on it for retail. <laughs> but <laughs> Like anyway, I already have two Star Killers. But you could have more. You have all those extra heads. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have room for the one Star Killer I got up there right now. You make room for Star Killers. Buy a, buy a whole nother Detolf. You did, make room. Did you hear Star that IKEA is discontinuing the, de the Detolf? They just got fed up with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was always out of stock too. I think like I think it sold so well that they could not keep up with the demand and so they just discontinued it. What if they did a modular where it's like a what are those 6 foot? Are they are they 6 feet tall or uh, I'm taller than it, so yes, they're 6 feet tall. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well done. Uh, <laughs> uh I I wonder if maybe they're going to do uh, uh like half size and then have them be modular so you could uh there was also this one is a fan channel exclusive as well which uh, i do want to talk about that right after i talk about this reveal mm -hmm. um is the whole fan channel situation but uh everybody knew this was coming but it is just a single release of the super battle droid um no weathering is what they said on this one too so it's a completely clean looking battle droid which is good because i know some people were upset about the weathering on the the two-pack one which I don't, I don't know if I necessarily agreed with, but um, yeah, this is going to be a nice, clean super battle droid that uh, single release too, so you don't have to buy a C three PO battle droid with it. Nice. Uh, I do really want to talk about this whole fan channel situation. 
because uh, I didn't pick up on this until now. Like, apparently, they've been planning it for like a full year now, ever since they uh, pipelined Kiati Mundi back in, was it February of last year? Um, mm. But it sounds like uh, Hasbro is listening to all the fans and saying, hey, you guys want prequel figures, you want army builders, you guys get it. But they specifically made everything fan channel exclusive. So all of the like uh, prequel celebration figures are exclusively fan channel figures. And I don't know how I feel about that. I, I really, really love Hasbro listening to the fans and saying, hey, you want this? Here you go. I, I think that's great. And I really appreciate them doing that. But I think there is a really, really big retail drought right now when it comes to Black Series. And I think getting as much stuff on store shelves is going to be a great idea and you know by putting all this stuff exclusively fan channel it's kind of just adding to the retail drought that we're going through so hmm yeah i have to gather my thoughts about that uh i think that it almost makes sense so i'm going to disagree with you a little bit it almost makes sense that the uh prequel stuff would go to fan channel one it it makes it accessible directly to the fans that want them it doesn't run the risk of clogging up uh the pegs in retail because the retail space for star wars merchandise in general is shrinking for toys in general uh it's shrinking i think that having uh direct access to the things that you want in the way that you want you get it shipped to your house and everything and uh there's no problem with any potential retailers that might want a wider mix they want stuff that's new media it might have been an agreement between uh disney and hasbro hasbro saying the fans really want uh these favorite characters throughout the the prequel trilogy and and other ips like the the uh uh last command uh four pack coming out mm -hmm. disney might be mandating that they they have new ip merchandise in stores and that's why you see ahsoka that's why you see mandalorian that kind of a thing so and maybe it's a trade-off and they came to the agreement that everybody gets what they want but new media stuff and the A-list line is going to retail and all these things that the fans are calling for, you'll get them, but you have to kind of jump through a few more hoops to, to do it. And I, I definitely agree with you there. Um, again, I, I, I also appreciate Hasbro acknowledging that um, there's adult collectors out there because for a long time, they kind of just were like, everything is for children. So children buy toys, go to the toy aisle to get it, you know, like e even, even now there's like the adult collector section with like the Funko Pops and the, um, uh, Mezco, is it Mezco? What's, uh, uh NECA. NECA, that's what it is. Yeah. The NECA, um, figures and you know, you're never going to see Star Wars figures over there. And that's just, I think that's, has to do with a lot with Disney, um, which would make sense. But, you know, I think. I think that's a big uh, contributor to why children don't really play with action figures anymore is because you can't just walk into a store and pick any character you want off the shelf, mm -hmm. you know, like ch kids still play with Legos. I, I know that for a fact. And, you know, but if there's a new Lego set that comes out, I can go to Walmart or Target right now and find it on the shelf right now because they are well stocked all the time. And Black Series doesn't have that. You know, I, I'd be lucky to find a Lando nowadays. And I'd, I'd be lucky to find anything on the store pegs at this point. Maybe that's just my location, but it's bad. There, there's very rarely anything on the store sh the store pegs, and if it is, it doesn't stay for more than a week. So, mm -hmm. well, and and maybe that is the reason that they they are pushing the A list line is so that there are those fan favorites that consistently come out. Like you know, there will be a peg for whatever uh, TV show. Mm -hmm. is out or, or movie or video game if they have that wave but there's going to be a dedicated uh peg for all your vaders and lukes and uh mandalorians but so this is uh, this is a, a podcast episode we should shelf for another day because this is we could go into like an hour-long discussion about this but well, you don't want to you don't want to go on for another hour about the intricacies of the toy aisle 
Oh, I do more than anything. You know me, but, <laughs> but we... <laughs> this is something that uh, I want to discuss because it was the biggest elephant in the room when uh, talking about this this discussion. Mm -hmm. Was like ninety five percent of the people on social media were just crapping on all of these reveals and and Hasbro, and it was horrible. They're everybody hated it and i'm like these these are some of the best reveals we've gotten in a long time and everybody's hating on it for like no reason i i think it's gotten really easy to criticize star wars in general uh there was a lot of hate when the prequels came out because people didn't think that they were up to the level that the original trilogy was and it was very similar the you know oh well, Jar Jar Binks and you wasted Darth Maul and and on and on and on just all these criticisms I'm seeing that with with these but uh, with these reveals but it's it's amplified and the thing that I don't understand is one they just did this this fan channel stream about a month before they're gonna do all the, their Toy Fair reveals mm -hmm. so. There's more stuff that's going to be announced. If anything, this is just, uh, you know, a little teaser. Yeah. So it, it doesn't make sense to me why people would just get so enraged. And yeah, you're right. It was everywhere uh, during the live stream on social media after the fact. And in my comments and other YouTubers comments, it was everywhere. Yeah. And just like, I, like I, this is the worst stream Hasbro's ever done. They should all lose their jobs and never have a job again. Like it was horrible. Like they're just personally attacking these designers for no reason. They they don't control when and what gets announced. They just do it. They just make the figures, guys. Don't attack right. the designers, please. Yeah, and I, I mean that's the thing is that I, I think that you, I think the misconception is that during these fan streams, the the faces that we see. Uh, are the people that have the decision-making power and they don't they're just there doing their jobs they probably really love star wars they really love what they do so they agree to go on camera and and present this stuff but to hold them accountable for mm -hmm. you not getting what you want like i i think that's i think that's wrong and i, I get it people are passionate and and you have every right to voice your opinion about what you want, what you don't want. Hasbro listens to that and and they take it into account when they're doing the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. But it's it's unfortunate that that people feel so unheard still that they they just start raging. They get so angry about it. And um I mean there were there were some people that were attacking you mm -hmm. for just saying, hey, guys, like, maybe don't get so mad because there will be other announcements. Like, this isn't the last live stream that Hasbro is going to do. Like I said, Toy Fair is a, a month, uh, just over a month away. Mm -hmm. We're going to get more reveals there. Comic Con, there's going to be more fan streams. So, yeah, just way out of left field. But But maybe it's because there's been a drought uh in in announcements for a while and and people were hoping that there would be this huge uh uh flurry of of uh product being thrown at us but mm. it, it didn't seem any different than the other live streams uh that we've that we've seen in the past they usually just announce a few things even when they do big panels at conventions they usually just mm. announce a few things unless it's a movie year yeah. where they have an entire product line dedicated to uh you know one of the the skywalker movies or when we get to the mandalorian and grogu movie or uh the heir to the empire movie you will see that display case that has 15 20 brand new figures in it uh, but it's not like it used to be where that was consistent uh, at every every reveal. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the reveals 
10 years ago, 15 years ago, were fewer and far between. So they needed to, to show everything. The original intent of Toy Fair, it was just to sell that year's toys to, uh, to retailers. Mm-hmm. Now it's become a, uh, uh, an advertising platform. Uh, for uh, for different entities to come and and uh, give them uh, free publicity uh, yeah. used to not be like that. Uh, so that's why they had the the entire product displays out because they had to show the retailers what they were going to offer for the entire year. Mm-hmm. And that again, it's just not the case. So I I, I just thought like some of the, like the people complaining just had like no ex like they they were complaining about nothing. Like I saw so many people saying like, oh, just another bunch of re repaints and remakes. Uh, you know, TBC. Yes, there were some some re releases. Do you know why there were re releases? Because everybody was complaining that the helmets are too big with the removable helmets. We want swappable heads. They re-released the figures that people were complaining about with those swappable heads, but then they complain about re-releases. Like, can we make you happy? Apparently not. Or same thing. Same thing with Black Series. Uh, what what was what was a re-release or a repaint? I, Thrawn was a brand new mold. Droidica was obviously a brand new mold. You got, I guess you could say the Clone Trooper, but. Literally, people for the last five, six years have been saying, we want more clones, we want more army builders. They release the holy grail of army builders, and people complain. Right. Like, it is literally an incredible sculpt of a plain white blank canvas of an army builder. And people are upset that it's a re-release or a repaint. What do you want to do? Make, have, have them make a brand new mold for it? Would you c- complain then? But th- th- it's a brand new mold itself. It is literally, like, brand new. And that figure specifically, they have designed it in such a way that it can be broken down and customized so easily. Like they're mm-hmm. they're 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 handing it to you on a platter almost. Uh, yeah, I actually I have been super excited for all the announcements of mm-hmm. the different clone variations uh, and and the prospects of it after getting what I consider like the perfect Black Series figure is that Phase Two clone. So mm-hmm. building off of that is is awesome and and i and I, I look forward to it i i saw uh, on a video somewhere someone was like uh you know to be honest i'm getting a little tired of all the clones and i i was like what like no this is exactly this is exactly yeah. what we want and why well, i want anyway so That's what i want too i got uh, i got two full two four two full shelves of clones and i need to make a third because i'm running out of space uh, uh, we have two, uh, 250,000 well, units ready and a million more on the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like this is everything that we've been asking for. Like, we've been asking for deluxe figures and for separatists. Deluxe droidica. Urgh. Like, why? Why are you upset? We have been asking for this forever, and we're finally getting it. It's everything we've ever wanted. More prequel figures, more more clones, more new molds like a Thrawn. And they're complaining. I don't get it. I want my super battle droids, but I want to have to pay for a C-3PO battle droid next to it. And I want my super battle droids dirty. I don't want a clean super battle droid. Like, I, that I don't get. Like, it's also not that. It's like, I guess you could argue that one is a repack. But everybody was literally complaining that that wasn't a single release. And so then you're upset that the single release is a repack? Like, what? Yeah. I, huh? It's... it's it's one of those things where I can I can understand that people are upset that they aren't getting exactly what they want. But we've gotten to the point where we go from zero to ten. Instead of just kind of, oh, I'm I'm mildly disappointed. I'm gonna move on from it. It's 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 never that. Now it's the, the people that are that are vocal about it. They're they're like I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done, and uh, that I I don't understand. Uh, I did want to to briefly bring up Yak Face post. Mm-hmm. Um, cause so to start, he he posted a poll. Uh, I, I had a ton of votes. I don't remember how many. Um, and it was like rate rate your your experience with this live stream or how what you thought of this live stream it had A B C and D, and it was like overwhelmingly D C's and D's. 
which blew my mind. Um, and then after the stream, he also posted here. I got to pull it up so I know what I'm reading. Um, okay, so this is what he posted. I'll throw it up on screen for you guys to read, but it says, I have a lot of thoughts regarding today's Star Wars fan stream, and my brain is having trouble sorting things out in order to write something coherent and worth reading. I'm torn. Do I care too much about the direction of the brand, or is it time to let go? Hmm. I, this, was, this was a huge shock to see, because I always see Yakface as one of the biggest supporters of the Black series and TBC and Hasbro's reveals. Now, obviously, he does have his criticism, and he, uh, he he's pretty vocal about it, which I really, really appreciate. Yakface is a legend. Uh, he's always linked in the descriptions. So make sure to check him out. Um, but th this was interesting to see. Um, you know, it, it sounds like he's, he's just considering stop just stopping collecting from this post. Hmm. And... Again, I, I just kind of added to the whole fan overreaction, and it, w it was interesting to see. So, I wasn't sure when I read that if it was him being upset about the reveals or if he was just tired of everything that came with it. Because he's usually at the forefront of his announcements. Like, even when he posted the images of Thrawn. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little blurb uh, underneath his uh, uh, the the images that he posted, where it says Thrawn will be available uh, spring of 2025 to lead the Night Troopers and Enoch into battle or something. And I immediately uh, I immediately said, "Oh, he knows something! Like he knows mm -hmm. that the rest of the figures in the wave got to be an Enoch." That we're gonna get an announcement for, and it's gotta be a night trooper. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I so I, I do know Yakface went ahead and made a follow-up post saying, collecting my thoughts, and he has a list. It says, buy what you like, pass on what you don't. Natural selection will weed out things that are not successful. Truly successful toy lines endure because of character selection, quality, and value. Faulting any of those three areas can lead to apathy and spending our shrinking dollars elsewhere. And then three, uh, so it, it kind of sounds like he's, he, he wasn't really upset with the, the reveal or the, the, the direction Hasbro was going, but more of just the, the fan reaction to it. So, I mean, that's a little bit reassuring. Um, but the, the first post there was like ominous and confusing, so... Yeah, it sounds like it. And, and a part of me wonders if maybe he was expecting, like maybe he knows that there are other things down the, the pipeline and maybe he was expecting more of those things to be announced. So it, it could just be he has knowledge, but it hasn't been revealed. And he's just tired of holding it in because he wants to talk about all these cool toys. I don't know, maybe. Uh, I, I just, it also like, coming after people that still appreciate it, mm -hmm. uh, that still enjoy it, uh, I, I also think is wrong. It's like, well, I'm angry, I don't like it, and you shouldn't like it either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, like the, the, how does that make any sense? But, um, yeah, I think that's probably going to wrap up this podcast episode. Um, so, any, any closing thoughts? Somewhere in space, this may all be happening right now. It... Very well, maybe. You almost said could. Per chance. I, <laughs> per chance. <laughs> Thank this, you so much. I say this this per chance could be all happening right now. <laughs> we'll just see how long we can get the title to be. We'll make it Shakespearean. Somewhere in space, in a distant galaxy, this per chance at some point may possibly be happening at this very moment in time. Or could have happened. Or could have happened ago. at a alternate point in time and or space and or reality, at one point or another, possibly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next episode. Thanks. Bye. Bye. -bye.